guys and welcome back to my... <laughs> that, I think I timed that perfectly okay. <laughs> Hey guys, stop doing that! <laughs> Go! Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So last week, well a few days ago, I put up a video of how we met because you guys were asking us so many questions about how we met and I promised you guys that next video that I put up will be uh, how did the whole Risha process and proposal and stuff go. So that is what we will be getting to in this video. Uh, and if you like the video, don't forget to like, share, comment. Comment. Subscribe. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, a comment, share, and subscribe. There we go. So let's get started. So this is basically how it went. Um, my parents, my mom actually kept butchering me and kept asking me, "Is there somebody? Is there somebody?" Because she really wanted me to get married. My brother was getting married, and my mom, the next person in line was me, and my mom was like literally head over heels for my wedding. Even though there was no one at the point for me to get married to, well, in her eyes, she didn't know I had anybody, and but she some, kept saying, can you please get and married? And for some reason, I don't know, everyone in her family thought it was hopeless for her. Yeah, for some reason, I because I'm such, a, I, oh, I'm such a guy at my house, like seriously, I was even telling him that I should make yeah. a YouTube channel with my cave and my man cave and just, you know, expose myself to the world because I am such a man. A man cave. I have a man cave at home. Yeah, so at home I'm like, I'm I'm very like manly and like I'll, I'll be like, somebody will be like, oh, Saba, go get ready for a party and I'll be like... So, anyways, even though I do makeup videos and all of this stuff, I'm actually the laziest person to put on makeup. I don't end up putting on makeup as often as you guys would think I do. We make these videos on the day where she has to put on makeup. Yeah, like a so wedding. So like right now, we're, we're going to be going to a wedding in about... Yeah, 45 so I minutes. had to so put on makeup. Yeah. So a lot of my family, a lot of my family who kept telling me, they're like, oh my God, your shadi is like hopeless. I wonder who's going to get married to you and this and that and yeah. that and this. But one day we were sitting there, this is about a year, two years after we met. And at that point, I already knew that he was... <laughs> what the hell? I wasn't, uh, I wasn't feeling well. Um... <laughs> So basically one day I was just sitting there and my mom kept butchering me again and again and she was like she was like just tell me is there somebody please I really want to know I really want to know so I was like okay I'm gonna tell you something but you can't tell anyone you should have seen the look on her face she went from like, <laughs> like yeah. and I'm like okay woman calm down let's go upstairs and talk so we went upstairs and made my mom, myself, and Saima, who likes to join every single conversation I am in and gives me no sense of privacy in my house, decided to join the conversation. All three of us are sitting there. And I look at Saima and I'm like, I'm actually going to tell her. And Saima's like, the truth or like just for fun? And I was like, no, I'm going to tell her the truth, duh. And then afterwards we were like, we're sitting there and then I'm like, okay, mom, so there's this guy. I have a friend. And at this point I already knew that he was the one. I actually knew he was the one like ever since I first met him. But, um, and I, and for some reason, both of us, even though we never discussed it, we both knew that we were going to end up marrying each other, mm -hmm. right? As we mentioned. Because we're a cool boy like right that. Now. Yeah. So, um, my, my mom was sitting there and I just looked at her and I was like, okay, so there's this guy. And she was like, and I'm yeah. like, my friend. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> like literally. And I'm like, and I like him. And she's like. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. And she's like, what? What do you mean that's it? Are you going to marry him? And I was like, yes, but not right now because he's finishing school, I'm finishing school. And then I wanted to collect money for my own shadi and pay for my own wedding. So I was like, mom, we're going to have to take this slow. But my mom, she was just like, no, so when do you want to get married? And I'm like, uh, not for a little while, but she was like way head over heels. And then I looked at her and I was like, you are not allowed to tell anybody. Lo and behold, guess what happens? My dad walks into the room and of course my mom can't keep any secret. <laughs> to save her life, she can't keep a secret. But um, we're sitting there and I'm looking at her and I'm like... And what does she do? She goes, Majid. My dad's name is Majid. She goes, Majid, do you want to know something? And I'm like looking at her and I'm like, no, he doesn't. And she's like... She's like, tell him, tell him, please. He's your dad, please. Tell him, tell him. I can't keep from him. And I'm like... <laughs> so then I ended up telling my dad, I was like, Dad, there's this guy, and he's a good guy, and I like him, and yeah, and that's about it. And my dad's just like, oh, is he educated? I was like, yeah. 
And I was like, okay, is he Muslim? I was like, yeah, I'm another like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, seriously? Because this conversation couldn't have been any more in depth. Like, you guys could have showed me that you actually cared about me getting married, but clearly <laughs> that didn't happen. And then I told my mom, I'm like, stop telling people. And then guess what happens? My brother walks into the room because, of course, nobody in my but house... But your brother didn't want to hear it. Yeah, I know, but my brother walks into the room and, of course, my mom does not like keeping any secret in my house. Shocker. But yeah, my brother walks into the room and my, my mom goes, Tell her, tell her. I'm like... And all I remember Seriously, was, woman? And all, all I remember you telling me was your brother plugged his ears and he ran yeah, down the stairs. Yeah, and then I'm like, I'm like, so there's this guy, and he was like, shut up, I shut up, know, shut up, know. shut up. And he literally ran down the stairs because my brother's a little, the over, oh. older one is a little overprotective, so he did not want to know what was going on. He did not want to know who it was. And then Simon was sitting there giggling, and like, hee hee. Because she knew that a wedding was coming up and she was more excited for the wedding than anything else But anyways, that's what happened at my house when we first told my parents what happened at yours? I ended up uh, telling my mom first because I I had to tell her I was a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie And when I told her she was pissed <laughs> No, but you didn't tell her you didn't tell her that Oh mom, I just have a girl and, and you no, know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not looking to get married. No, right no, now. I, you if, said I say the way it is mom, just like there's, there's a this girl and I wanna marry her and she was like, You're too young and that's why she was mad. She didn't mind that there was a girl there. She minded because yeah. he wanted to get married and she was like, What? You're way too young right now. What what were you at that time? You were twenty four? No, twenty three I still. Twenty three, yeah. My dad was st static. <laughs> um and he had a feeling because you know obviously he would see me on the phone or see me texting data about it so my dad had the same reaction that Saba's mom did essentially and uh, he's just like man he's like how could you keep such an exciting thing like a, you know a secret for me and this and that but he was ex excited at the fact that he also he thought I was hopeless on my end <laughs> because, because you were so shy yeah I was just a shy, shy individual and I wouldn't really be talking to girls and stuff Two right. hopelesses got together. Um, in order to convince her, literally, he told her that I was Indian. <laughs> and she was like, she's Indian. And my mom's Indian, so she's like... Okay! Yeah. No, but the one thing that he did end up telling his mom was that uh, his mom was like, his mom was like, Rahim, I think that you should get a house, you should get, you should get a good job, you should settle down first, get yourself a house and this and that and then think about marriage but he ended up turning to her and was like mom what if all of that happens but I lose her and she went from like to good point and that's when she knew sure. that I was the one for him which was really sweet so you you're so cute but you didn't end up telling them because you're such a scaredy cat both of our sides were, were convinced and then came time for um, the actual Rishta. So, was it your mom that ended up calling my mom? Yeah. Yeah, so his mom ended up calling my mom and they set up a meetup at my house for the first time. And the nerves in my house were literally jumping from I, left to right and just say, at this that point. Day. It was because my brother was actually getting married within the next six months. Yes. So we were really, really busy. On top of that, they were really busy because their grandma wasn't back from Pakistan yet. So they were waiting on her to come back from Pakistan. Yeah. So once she came back, that's when his mom called my mom. And then they talked about it and they wanted to meet up. And they were both, they both seemed really excited. And so my mom called their family over for dinner at my house. That was the first time he realized the type of food Heather Baldi people cook. And then they ended up coming to my house. There, it was him, his mom, his dad, and his grandma that came over to my house that day and my entire family was there. He was so nervous, but I had so much fun that day. Firstly, his mom walked into the house and it was so cute because she, I guess she saw pictures of me, but she um, she thinks I look better in person than I do in my pictures and stuff. I don't know, I don't know why she thinks that, but she actually it is thinks- true though. Yeah, I don't know why my pictures come out so weird. But anyways, um, she, she thinks I look way better in person. So what happened was that she came in and I said salam to her and she ended up just looking at me. <laughs> she didn't even say salam back or anything. She was just like, 
Mashallah. And it was like a sigh of relief because God knows what she thought I actually looked like. I don't even know what but pictures he showed her. Real talk though, deep down inside, every, every female knows that other females wear a ton of makeup and you can never really believe what you see. In pictures. Yeah, I didn't have a I lot of makeup on that. that day. I, I think I just had um, a little bit of foundation. Anyways, my mom that day wouldn't let me put on too much makeup because she was like, no, 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 they have to see like your natural beauty. So then that's why I didn't end up doing it. Yeah. And when his mom walked in, she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so that happened and then they came and they sat down and like, you know, the parents were in one area on the side and then we were in one area on one side and it wasn't my dad was who was butchering it, was it. it was my brother, my brother, he did, so where do you work? He didn't butcher, he, he was just... Why? He was doing Wait, what he... School? What an older brother should do. And then we were just sitting there and I remember there was a time when um, my brother was questioning him and I was sitting on the other side and nobody was looking at me so I kept looking at it and I was like... And I would like wink or do something stupid and my and nobody would book it except for my sister and my sister would be like stop it And like every time he looked at me he would get even more nervous every time I did that So it was really entertaining for me, but like every time he'd look at me I'd be like But yeah, um, and then his mom actually I wasn't too nervous to meet his dad I was nervous to meet his mom because his dad and I had conversations unknowingly who who each other were on the phone Because he'd be on the phone. But and dad, I've obviously told her my dad's super yeah. slow and then um, his mom actually came and she was really, really chill and she, she ended up talking to me and she was like very, very down to earth and everything and we ended up hitting it off that first conversation and then we had dinner and I we, think the, both the families got along really well and it, they left and his mom ended up giving my mom a call and then we were invited over to their house and we were invited over what a week or two weeks apart from that day and when, when we w went over, we were told that it was just our family and their family again. But <laughs> we literally walked into their entire khandan. My grandma can't keep anything in her stomach. <laughs> so she told everybody. So she told everyone to come. Yeah. And then every, I'm just like... So we I'm walked in that day and, and literally met his entire khandan the first time. Which was really actually nice because then we got to know the entire family from the get-go. And um, I remember we were sitting there at the dinner table and I kept telling him... Well, I, my brother and I kept having conversation and we were like... Why does his cousin, his elder cousin, look so familiar? <laughs> yeah. And we were like... And then my brother's like, I don't know, he looks so familiar. I'm like, yeah, he does. I, we know him from somewhere. But we couldn't think of where we knew him from. Suddenly, it dawned onto us that when we were younger, we used to go to a masjid every day after school during the weekdays. And he used to be one of the, one of the kids. elder kids yeah. that used to come into our classroom and tell us like stories about the Prophet and stuff. And he was really entertaining, it was really funny, and that's why we remembered him. And then, so the conversation came up and we ended up telling him, we were like, oh my god, we remember you and stuff, right? And then he told us that he used to go there too. Yeah. The time that we apparently we were in the same class when we were younger, but we just didn't remember. Mm. So yeah, it was actually really cool to know how people's paths cross. cross yeah. So we actually, when we were about like four or five years old, we actually used to go to the same after school program. And then the next few times we met up, that's when the conversation about whether or not we should do a nikah or a straight shadi or something like that started happening. Um, but we wanted to take it slow and for that reason, we finally came to the conclusion that we'll do a nikah instead of just an engagement. So we'll do an engagement slash nikah. So about two years ago is when we actually had our nikah done. And the reason why we had a nikah was because we didn't think that having an engagement made any sense, especially because Islamically it doesn't really do anything and we'd, just, we'd be chilling regardless. So we thought why not just avoid that. Yep. Avoid that altogether and just get a nikah done with the engagement. And then we waited two years and then got married. Um, but yeah, the reason why we did the nikah a few months after that meetup was because my brother's wedding was literally two months before and engagement. So I was invited to my brother's wedding. her brother's a wedding, but <laughs> and then I met oh, how many three fifty four hundred of her. Yeah. Mashallah, mashallah. So he ended up meeting my entire family on the day of my of my brother's bulima and literally like my aunts and stuff were like pulling him left right center. I was like, oh, meet this person, meet this person. Oh, this is Saba's husband um, an an to be or fiance to hour be. And half, yeah. yeah, and it was actually pretty entertaining because he was so nervous. You know and then two months after my brother's wedding, we got our nikah and we got engaged, but we did our nikah that same day. Yeah. Um,
Yeah, and then we got married two years later. So that is our Rishta story, guys. You guys were wondering, and here it is. We gave it to you. Okay, guys, so that is about it for the video today. Um, we will be posting up the rest of the Q&A answers next, next time I post up a video. So until then, people, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys. Well, we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Guys, keep smiling and... Peace. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm too tough for the frame, but whatever. You still have white stuff on your face. Ah! Don't do that. It's mean. Relax, kid. It's not hard. This is a <laughs> sick way to clean up your skin, though. Still. Okay, give me that. Stop folding around. Yo, so look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Why do you always never remember the story? No. Very disappointing. I, I, <gasps> Why are you touching my stuff? Welcome back to your chest. Leave it. Raheem! Chill, I got this. My stuff man. is falling. Give me that. I got it. One sec, one sec. I want to be like you. Yo, give me a piece. You don't even know how to take tape out. I cut my nails, so that's why. Do it. I can do it. I'll tell you something. What's that to me? No. You see, you apply like this. Ah, it burns. <laughs> what are you doing? That's disgusting, you just bat everywhere. It's not spit, it's tape. So this is what you do, right? I'm putting a mouse here. How's it go? Do I look flawless now or what? Damn, check that out. You look like you need Botox. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, fictionally. Yo, we should have like a theme, theme song. song, yeah. Cool. Like that one, eight, six, six, one, two, and get away first. So it's like, you gotta peel it off slowly, man. Actually, I think I got some black hair. Yo, this <laughs> I just want to be flawless.